welcome back everyone so i have made plenty of videos on the custom iso but one of the common question that people ask me in every video that is it safe to use these kind of custom iso and do they really give you the best performance so in this video i will clear some of the important fact that you need to keep in mind before installing such kind of custom iso and i will also share my personal recommendation on these isos now if you're not sure what exactly the custom iso is so basically custom iso is a kind of a debloated copy of windows 10 or 11 created by some developer or i can say the reputed developer who are already working on this field from a long time so basically i started my research from the iso file and i downloaded the custom iso of ghost inspector optimum 11 atlas os revy os and the tiny 11. i downloaded all these iso and i tested it I found nothing suspicious, not any kind of malicious file. So the ISO was perfectly safe to download and install. Now I cannot guarantee for all the custom ISO running in the market, especially the government edition that people are downloading. I have already created a video on that topic. And you might also have heard about the Windows 11 government edition that is basically not from the Windows 11. It's been created by some random developer who has debloated this Windows 11 ISO and give it a name of Windows 11 Government Edition. So these ISOs can be fake and similarly there are many other ISO that are not reputed and it can be risky to download. Alright so the first thing that you need to keep in your mind that only go with the custom ISO that are reputed and running in the market from a long time and many people have created a video on that topic and many people are already using it. Now you might have a question in your mind that that is the good part so why i created this video warning you that watch this video before installing it so let me come to that topic now now if you go with the installation of these kind of custom iso you will be getting different kind of installation screen many iso will give you an option that you want to keep the defender off or you want to keep the defender on and many iso give you some kind of different options like in the ghost respecter you will find that you want to go with the lighter version super light where i guess majority of the people fail to identify they go with the super light and after that when you will check your custom iso you will find that your security is not working and that basically is the worst part because you have disabled the windows security while the installation process not only this there are many other custom iso when you are done with the installation you will find that the windows security is not working and it's been permanently disabled not only windows security but also the windows defender is being turned off and that basically is the point of concern so what i can say that the custom iso the reputed custom iso are safe now i have installed the optimum 11 here and you can see it give you the neat and clean page and everything is good to go so there is nothing suspicious with the custom iso or with the optimum 11 only the thing that disappoint me that the windows security is being disabled now let me show you if i right click on the windows icon and go to the settings and go to privacy and security so here i can find the option of windows security but when i click on it and click open windows security so either it will give you this kind of black screen or it will say the windows security has been disabled so that means none of your windows security is running in this custom iso and many people even they don't know that their security is running or not all right so this is the first concern that i really don't like about the custom iso so if you don't find any option to enable it or disable it even i think that you will not be able to manage from the group policy editor so what i would recommend you the next time when you go with installation just check the installation process carefully and where you get the option of keeping the defender on go with that option only and another thing that you have to change after installing the custom iso click on the windows icon search for user account control settings and here also you will find it says choose when to be notified about changes to your computer now this has been selected to never notify again it's a disappointing and it says this setting will take effect after you click ok and restart your pc now this should be at least selected to i make changes to windows setting because at least it will let me know it will be notifying me if any kind of malicious file or any kind of application is running on my computer so these are the changes that you have to make after installing the custom iso all right now part of that if you take my recommendation guys but before that let me show you there performance so if i right click on the windows icon 
and go to the task manager so of course they give you the best performance and you can see the process count is around 57 the thread is around 663 and handle count is around 24,000. now if you compare this with the regular windows 11 the process count is around 140 145 the thread count is around 2000 and the handle count is somewhere around 55,000. so of course it occupies the very low resources and give you the best performance so in terms of the performance i would recommend you that you can try the custom iso especially if you have the low end pc but in terms of the security you have to keep in mind that your windows security your windows defender is already running so if i search for the windows defender firewall so on the optimum 11 it's good it's working but if i go to the ghost inspector and again search here let's see whether it's been enabled or not okay here it's also working uh, let me open it all right it seems to be working so that's good now this is the thing that you have to assure that your windows defender and again let me bring up the security here so i can search for windows security and bring it up and again if i click on open windows security it says you will need a new app to open this windows defender dot link all right so this is the problem that i was talking about probably while the installation of this iso you choose an option that basically disable the windows security okay this is what you need to keep in mind and still if i check the user account control setting And here again, you can see that never notify. I don't know why it's been selected to this point, but this you have to change at least to the third level. And then you have to click on OK. And if I check the performance of the ghost inspector, so here again, you can see the process is around 94. The thread is around 800, 890. The handle count is 33. Again, very best and very optimized as compared to the regular Windows 10 or Windows 11. So now if I talk about my personal recommendation guys, I would recommend you that if you have a low end PC or if your device laptop or PC is quite old and you're not getting the good performance, then you can go with these kind of reputed custom ISO like Atlas OS, Optimum 11, Ghost Spectre, Tiny 11 or the Revy OS. But again, you will have to make sure that all the security are working and while the installation process, you have to choose the defender on option so that all your security work properly but still you have to recheck once the installation is being completed and kindly be away from many other kind of new custom iso coming in the market until they are properly verified by many other people especially if i talk about the one that is currently going on with the fake windows 11 government edition all right so that's all guys for today and hopefully uh, you found this information useful guys and you will keep all this information in your mind before going with the installation process or before trying the custom ISO. And do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.